On Saturday, September 8th, the union workers who had occupied their workplace at the Manhattan Upper East Side Hot and Crusty signed an agreement with the owner, private equity investor Mark Sampson, in what is being hailed as a remarkable victory for workers. Workers formed the Hot and Crusty Workers Association, an independent union, and in collaboration with their lawyers, successfully negotiated for improved pay and working conditions and to have the agreement apply to future employees. Last fall, after battling for over a year, some of them visited Occupy Wall Street and became acquainted with the Laundry Workers Center, a volunteer group providing guidance and support for worker organizing. Through translators, the workers, many of whom are undocumented, reported receiving less than minimum wage and working up to 10 hours a day, 360 days a year. This prompted Associated Lawyers to file with the New York State Labor Board against Samson's store. Workers themselves responded creatively by utilizing a variety of tactics including pickets and a workplace occupation that ended in arrests. But most notably, after Samson closed the store and locked out the workers, they opened a worker justice cafe on the sidewalk outside, serving coffee and donuts to the regular hot and crusty patrons. 